Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and in this video, I am going to demonstrate how to create and delete cloud storage in GCP using the GCP console. I have logged into my Google Cloud account. Click Cloud Storage. Click Create. So you need to give a bucket a unique name. Let's give it a name as Demo Bucket 1357. Then click Continue. So next we need to select where we want to store the data, right? We have three options, multi regions. This is primarily for the high availability. The data will be stored in multiple regions and then the dual regions. So again, this is for high availability, but the low latency will be low across two regions. So you can select that or you can select the region. This is for the lowest latency, but the data will be available in the single region. So I'm going to select single region, click region, and then I'm going to leave it as a default region, which is the US East one. You have an option to select the different region as well. Then click continue. So now we need to select the storage class for the data, right? So you have two options. One is auto class where you'll be able to allow GCP to do the transition based on the data usage, or you can decide, right? Which is the storage class you want to use. We have four options here. One is a standard near line, code line and archive. So the cost varies based on the storage class, what you select. So the standard is best for the short term usage where you frequently access the data and the near line is best for the data backups where you access the data less than once a month. And the code line is best for the disaster recovery kind of a data where the data is accessed less than once a quarter and the archive is best for the long term digital preservations where the data is accessed less than once a year. So I'm going to leave it as standard. So standard is more expensive but the archive is the least expensive click continue so now you need to choose how to control access to the objects so if you do not want it to give public access you can click this checkbox it enforces the public access prevention and then the access control again you have two options uniform means it enforces the uniform access to all the objects in the bucket or you can select for fine grained so where you will be able to give the fine grained access at the object level then click continue so how you wanted to protect object data. So either you'll be able to protect using the object versioning. So in this case, multiple version of the object will be stored. So even by mistake, if you delete an version, you'll be able to recover it. And the retention policy is primarily for preventing deletion or modification object once the object is created. But you'll be able to use either the object versioning or the retention policy. And the data encryption, so you can, you can either use the Google Manage encryption key or the, you can use Customer Manage encryption key. Click Create. So again, it is going to give us the information on that public access will be prevented. So in case if you have any change of mind, you can just unselect this and then confirm. In this case, I am going to enforce the public access prevention on this bucket. So I am not going to change anything. So I am going to click Confirm. So the bucket demo bucket 1357 has been successfully created. So now we can upload data to this bucket. Click upload files. It's uploading the file to the bucket and the file has been successfully uploaded to the bucket. Click the file. So here you can you have an option to download the file. And then if you wanted to edit any metadata, you'll be able to do that. You can see the file here listed here. So you, even you'll be able to edit the access, right? So you'll be able to change the access. And then if you wanted to delete the object, you'll be able to delete it here. So this is the authenticated URL. So in this URL, you will be able to access this particular object. Let's click that. And you can see the file which we uploaded. So we have two options, either we will be able to delete these objects one by one and then delete the bucket. So or you'll be able to delete the bucket itself. So which in turn is going to delete all the objects which is part of the bucket. So but we will see how we can first delete one object. So now we have deleted the object which we uploaded. So now let us go and delete the bucket itself. Select this and click delete. So you need to type delete here. 
and then click delete it's deleting the bucket and the bucket has been successfully deleted in this demo we have seen how to create and delete cloud storage bucket in gcp using the gcp console also we have seen how to upload files to the bucket which we created and and access the file and delete the object from the bucket if you like this video please like share and subscribe thanks for watching the demo